Welcome back to Casuals Corner and today I'm going to be having a look at, let's be honest, one of the most exciting fights we've ever seen, one of the most exciting fights we've ever anticipated. It'd be rude to start anywhere else but Justin Gagey v Michael Chandler. Now before we get into the video, you know what to do, hit the like, subscribe and the little bell icon to stay up to date with the content. And if you don't know what we do here on this channel, we bring you MMA from the UK, we bring you behind the scenes footage, interviews, breakdowns, pre and post fights and little conversations just like this. So like I said, hit the bell and let's jump into it. Now, as I mentioned, coming into the fight, there was so much anticipation, there was so much hype, there was so much almost angst around it because in mixed martial arts, in the UFC, you don't always quite get the outcome you wish for, but we wish for violence and we got that in absolute abundance. If two fighters are rushed straight to hospital straight after, you know it's probably been a war. If you think back to all the times that's happened, they're usually pretty decent fights. Now, first of all, I must start by saying props to Michael Chandler because like Justin Gagey said after their fight, they both belong to be in a coliseum somewhere because that's what they are. They are warriors. And it's funny because you see Michael Chandler, you hear Michael Chandler, he's such a cerebral, thoughtful thinker. And you see all the memes going about, about him being this motivator and this philosopher but the truth of it is when those doors close he is a different beast he doesn't have that on switch of cerebral thought process it's straight warfare and it's straight savagery and i absolutely love him for it do i think that could be the potential chink in his armor to hold him back from a title potentially but it's going to make him one of one of the most exciting fighters in the world and he proved that on saturday because going in there just in the highlight gagey the highlight the man's name is the highlight and you know what you get with justin gagey he had 22 wins and 19 finishes and that isn't just punches that's kicks too and we saw that this saturday those low kicks were nasty the fact that michael chandler ate so many and continued to go forward it was absolutely ridiculous and on justin gagey's part the distance he throws them at is ridiculous. Every clinch, every close quarters encounter, there's a low kick. It's terrifying. It's the same way that people would finish a combination with a body shot or a left hook. He finishes it with a low kick and he has one of the best in the game. So the fact that Michael Chandler could just walk through that fire and just come with his own attacks was crazy. But we saw one of the best fights you're ever going to see, let's be honest. Like I said, they were at one point just standing in a phone box, throwing right hands until someone got knocked out. They said they were going to do it coming in, and they delivered. And you couldn't ask for much more. When we saw that uppercut on Michael Chandler, when I saw that uppercut, I thought to myself, does that not knock out everyone else in that division near enough? It has to. How that didn't send him to sleep, I have no idea. And the fact he had the frame of mind to then jump onto a single leg, it was inspirational. It was inspirational from Michael Chandler. One of the best fights, like I said, not only this year, but ever. I think he's a Hall of Famer. I genuinely do. There was so much coming into it, and they delivered. I love them both for it. I think they've earned the respect of any fight fan that was watching that. And that was the best way to open up the main card as well. And another W for Trevor Whitman. I had a treble on him taking Gagey, Rose and Usman. And that was a nice way to kick it off. But what do I see next for them both? Justin Gagey's got a fight for the strap. That's a fact. We knew this was the number one contender coming into it. He said if he doesn't get that title shot, he's going to riot. And I don't think he needs to riot. There is no way you can begrudge a title shot after number one eliminator contender. I think that's what it's called. I've said so many words in that sentence. And then a performance like that. And let me tell you, he is a problem. We knew this coming into it, but that just solidified it. Now his footwork's a bit crisper. Now he's a bit more efficient. His leg kick looks so sharp. It's a tough night out. It is a tough night out. It's like throwing razor blades in a blender with Justin Gagey. You shut those corners, there is no lightweight in the world. I don't care who it is. That wants to be in there. What are you going to do? Take him down? I don't think so. Do you wrestle him? Not really. He's got amazing takedown defense. We know his credibility with his wrestling. He's going to get to his feet. He's going to get to his feet and he's going to land them shots. So he's got to fight for the strap. Dustin Poirier or 
Charles Oliveira, I'd love to see the Poirier take the win on that one, just to see Gagey Poirier, because that, let's be honest, come on, for the strap. It's got the potential to be one of the best fights ever, one of the best title fights ever. That's a hot take. But what do I see from Michael Chandler? It's very interesting because he came out on Twitter and put a picture of him and Conor McGregor up. Now, if I'm Michael Chandler, I am for sure, for sure taking that fight. That is the best fight he could possibly get at the moment for the fact that, number one, it's Red Panty Night. Number two, for his cut recent ring experience, and Conor McGregor's lack of. And then three, stylistic matchup is an absolute nightmare for Conor. And number four, Conor's always one fight away from the title. So he knows if he gets that big event, it's going to be a massive pay-per-view. He'll then fight for the title. So that's, I think, Michael Chandler's path to victory. I think he's really got to keep tugging on that one with Conor McGregor because he came back and said he likes the sound of it. Respect for Saturday. So... No animosity as of yet. Maybe that is the reason that won't get booked. But very, very exciting fight. I'll stop there because I can talk about this one all day. I'm still on that post UFC 268 high. Social media has been buzzing. The work's been buzzing. The conversation has been buzzing into my inboxes. I've been loving it. Loving the engagement. Appreciate it as always. And you know what to do. Like I said, hit the bell, the subscribe and the like button to stay up to date with the comments and get involved in the comments as well because I love to hear your feedback and you know if you've been following me for some time now I love getting involved in the conversation so enjoy and peace